Argentina's government has made achievements in 2021, but is faced with a series of challenges in the year ahead, including the negotiations to reach an agreement with the International Monetary Fund that does not, not put the country's population at greater economic risk. We have more details in the following report by our correspondent, Carolina Silvestre. According to the Secretary General of the Broad Front Party in the province of Buenos Aires, one of the greatest achievements of the national government this year has been its handling of the crisis left by the administration of Mauricio Macri that was deepened by the pandemic. Fortunately, it has been overcome due to the decisions taken by the national government. The issue of vaccination has generated a very positive impact and to some extent we are observing macroeconomic measures, macroeconomic figures showing important economic growth. Of course, the consequences in terms of deterioration of living standards are evident and this is what must be solved quickly in the immediate future because there are needs that are urgent. The politician describes the overall results of two years of government by the front of all are positive. Because if we had maintained a right-wing government like Magris in our country, we would have continued to suffer the increase in unemployment, destruction of industry, and good jobs, and the deterioration of the economy in general, just like other nations in the region. And unfortunately, this could be mitigated in a reasonably good way in our country. According to the interview, the use of state resources will be key for the Fernandez administration to solve pending issues that affect the majority of the Argentine society. The main challenge is to build popular power that accompanies the government's progressive measures that to some extent reconsider a redistribution of wealth in favor of the most disadvantaged sectors and that the economic growth is used precisely to favor to the entire society and not just one sector. This is the key for this upcoming stage. Another process that is consolidating but still has a long way to go is that of memory, truth and justice. Obviously, we always need more answers from the state mechanism, from all the institutions that should be involved in the search for the disappeared, the search for the grandchildren, for justice, especially justice which is what we, the relatives of the victims, fight the most for, to be heard, and above all, to speed up the legal process because we are still judging and sentencing many of those responsible for the genocide, but there are still many acts that have not been condemned and many that remain unpunished. Judicial reform is undoubtedly the most complex challenge that the national government will have to face since it is the most questioned branch of the government in Argentina. Carolina Silvestre, Telesur, Buenos Aires.